Welcome to the Marvelous Designer 2025.0 version new feature videos. In this video, we will introduce the newly improved library features. Marvelous Designer library icon at the top right allows the library window to be turned on and off. The library window in the previous version is fixed to the left, and now it is separated alone in the new 2025 version. You can return it to an earlier version of the library by clicking the arrow in the lower left corner of the new library window. By clicking the Switch to New Library icon at the bottom of the existing library, you can return to the new library. You can browse and apply various assets more easily and quickly while managing the workspace of 3D and 2D windows. In the new library window, assets are categorized into five different groups. Garment, Avatar, Fabric, Trim, and Stage. You could see the preview of the asset by clicking the preview icon on the top right corner of the library window. Each category has an Assets tab where you can see the Marvelous Designer's existing assets and a Connect Asset tab where you can see the assets provided by Connect. Connect assets are checked in free by default and show free assets. You can browse the paid asset by unchecking it. Paid assets are available through the community page, and you can check the purchased items at the Purchase tab. Access to Closet has also been added into the new library. Closet is a cloud based platform that allows you to upload and share your 3D assets. First, I will load the project file from Closet and click on the Marvelous Designer icon in the upper left to browse for the assets you need. I'm going to look for Oversized Shirt and hit Apply. Reposition the shirt and Control H to strengthen it. Change the layer setting to 1 to drape the garment nicely. I will unbutton the shirt and adjust the fit a little. Now let's browse for the fabrics and quickly apply one for the shirt. And feel free to add in other assets from the new library. You can now create your own custom library and manage your assets effectively. You can create it by clicking Create New Library button at the top. And you can add assets by clicking Add Folder. Let's save the current project file and save it to the Custom Asset folder. and I will hit the refresh icon to see the saved project file. You could also add in other assets all you want, 